He bases his preachings on stories. This is very dangerous. A Muslim or a Buddhist can do the same thing. 1 Timothy 1, 3 to 7 says, As I urge you when I went to Macedonia, remain in Ephesus, that you may charge some that they teach no other doctrine. And that's what I'm doing today. I am charging the church in Nigeria, in Africa, to teach no other gospel. This is an instruction that was given to Timothy by Paul. Paul knows the danger of the, another gospel, another doctrine. Doctrines that are based on fables, doctrines that are based on stories. He says, charge them, charge that they will not teach another gospel, or another doctrine. He said, even I'm going to Macedonia, but you have to stay back for one purpose only. For what purpose? So that there will be no wrong doctrines in the body. And now that's exactly what, you know, he didn't say stay back to correct the things they are doing in their personal lives or to monitor their own lifestyle. No, 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 no. What God's concern is about is about doctrine. Stay back so that nobody will teach any other doctrine, any other gospel. And so that people will not give heed, not give heed to fables, you see, and endless genealogies, endless stories, stories, history, stories, genealogy is history, story. That is exactly what this guy is doing. That's exactly what this guy is doing. Story. He went to South Africa. He fell in love for school. He, he bought a car. He put shirts inside. He went and built. <laughs> Came to Ghana, <laughs> see me. You then come to Ibikoyi. You know all kind of stories, fables, and endless genealogies, which cause disputes rather than because it's going to be causing disputes in the work of the flesh. Lost is is raising lust in people, greed in people, because people begin to desire. Ah, I want to do the same thing out of lust and greed, and that is what brings disputes. Because people are desiring worldly things rather than godly edification which is in faith. In, now, the purpose of the commandment which I give you to, to stop all the wrong doctrine is love from a pure heart. That's exactly the purpose why I'm doing what I'm doing to. It is the purpose why, you know, Timothy has to correct the doctrines because of love and it is that love from a pure heart that is making me to also challenge the doctrines, the evil doctrines that are permeating the African church today. So now the purpose of the commandment is love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and from sincere faith, from which some have been strayed. And that's what has happened in Nigerian church, to Nigerian church. Most of our Jews have strayed, have turned aside to I do talk. Listen to Adebo Yatenet and you see I do talk, stories upon stories. Listen to all these people with stories upon stories, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor the things which they affirm. Is it not the same thing we are saying today? It's like this, it's like Paul is writing to Nigerian church right now. Fibus and stories. And that is what uh, Ashimolowa is based is, is basing his doctrines on to collect people's money. We don't have facts. What all those stories is talking? No facts there, because because we cannot cross check. We cannot cross check who is that Femi uh, uh, Fosco. We cannot cross check what he did that resulted in the money that he has. We cannot cross check. We cannot no documentation, no empirical evidences to be able to find out what are the only what how true what it is. And and these people go to church 